Richard Osman is a presenter, producer, writer, and has a hidden talent. He's able to smell the blood of an Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, John, here's a question for you. What is your greatest fear? Uh... Other than Richard towering over you right now. <laughs> is that a fear, right? I'm not scared of you. No, we're like Chewbacca and R2-D2. <laughs> <laughs> uh... mm. OK, Rich, have you got a mascot? Uh, I do, yeah. I thought I'd bring on a picture of, uh, of every geek's hero and an action shot of him. There it is. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you've put me on the body of Lionel Messi there. His <laughs> very surname stands for everything I despise. <laughs> and I've also got a slightly later night version. Oh. For ladies in the audience. Ooh, a little treat for you. You're going to need a wind machine pretty soon, let me tell you. There he is. <laughs> I knew that was you with the uh, telephoto lens. <laughs> so, Richard, as the resident know-it-all on Pointless, do you feel under pressure this evening to do well? Uh, I don't think so, because I've got... I'm on John's team, which is nice. I think shows like this and Pointless, I think if you're no good at sport, which I'm not, this is like the World Cup for us, if you go on a quiz show or something like this, and it's so lovely to be on John's team, so you watch this show and he's such a showman, He's such a genius. I think my job... <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know I was going to say this, and he'll be furious with me afterwards, but he is. <laughs> oh, sorry, John. My job today is literally just to act as his enforcer, I think. Just a few solid sixes and sevens and let John showboat. <laughs> <laughs> if I do my job properly, we'll see some nines. And if John doesn't get any nines, it'll be my fault. <laughs> I'm guessing he hasn't seen you on the show, John. He... <laughs> I think you'll find I've got a number of nines in the history of this show. I've got nines even the dictionary hasn't got yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, you often win on Countdown. Uh, how does that feel to finally be a winner in life? <laughs> <laughs> it's like something from Scooby-Doo. Do you want me to say something to him? Just have a look at him for a minute. OK. <laughs> you are kidding me, right? <laughs> Cheers, mate. That's yeah. OK. <laughs> um, OK, Richard, what was your eight? Uh, patience. Patience. I should also say I've got a penis tattoo. <laughs> penis tattoo? Yeah. Have you? There you go. Rachel's got my penis tattoo there. Uh, <laughs> Richard, have you got a mascot? I have, yeah. Well, uh, more than just a mascot, really. I've been on, a, I've been on a quite an intensive training camp. Uh, I've been to China. Went to Shanghai, uh, just in case I felt that I wasn't tall enough. <laughs> Everywhere I went, every single person wanted to have their photograph uh, taken with me. <laughs> and, uh, everywhere I went. You'll see, there's, there's, there's a countdown master next to you. Um, <laughs> now, this guy is a... Uh, <laughs> this guy is the head of a Buddhist monastery. He's an incredibly important man, and our guide said that what you must never do is take a photograph of the monks. They'll be terribly offended. And the first thing he did when he saw me went, Oh, photograph, photograph. <laughs> <laughs> But I was, I was looking specifically for motivational uh, slogans, and they, they quite often rip off Western motivational slogans. They get it slightly wrong. So this is genuinely a hat I bought in China. Uh, this is their version of Nike's Just Do It. And their version is, keep at it just to do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is fairly motivational, isn't it? <laughs> keep at it, keep at it just, just to, to do, do this. this. <laughs> and then I've got... And this is genuinely a pencil case. I've got something for us to think about in this show. Study Harry. Play Harry. Study <laughs> <laughs> Harry, play Harry. I'm not. Oh, well, no, 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 don't take that All right. off. All right. Because you look amazing in that. Thank you. <laughs> Are you hey. familiar with the Where's Wally books? <laughs> <laughs> what happened during that game? You, you seemed distracted. I had uh, a little. I, I dealt with it. Just a little problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's a shocking colour. You're dehydrated. <laughs> I think so. Stinks as well. <laughs> Hmm, what do you think? It doesn't smell good. It smells very... Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you need to see somebody. Bob. <laughs> Bob, have a little... Just have a little taste of that. You're all right. I prefer solids. <laughs> <laughs> Rich uh, and Lee, I'm interested in your game plan this evening. Are you guys that would go for uh, a risky nine or a, or a certain four? What would you go for? Uh, Depends what time of night it is, doesn't it? Yeah. You start off going for a risky nine, don't you? And then mm. you end up with a certain four. That's how it... <laughs> <laughs> I 
if it will do well, won't we? Yeah, I'm inc genuinely incredibly excited to be here. It is incredibly exciting, isn't it? It's I'm like, you know how excited John gets before he comes on counter, and I'm like that, only taller. Can you imagine <laughs> that? <laughs> I might be an inch in it, yeah. Mm. Well, I'll have a look. Are you taller than Rich? I don't, <laughs> yeah. I don't think you are. I always think of you as just being <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go back to back. Go back to back. I think, it was I think you'd have to go barefoot to really properly test, but yeah. <laughs> I think he's very slightly taller. <laughs> Lovely stiletto heel on that. <laughs> Susie, Susie, could they have done any better? Couldn't get more than seven. Dragons. Dragons, of course. And I had Drinksy. You, you had what, sorry? <laughs> Drinksy. Drinksy. After the show, we can all go for Drinksy. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some graffiti of a pint of beer on the side of my house. I think it might be a Drinksy. <laughs> <laughs> Our first numbers round. OK, John and Richard, your turn to pick the numbers. Oh, we're having a discussion. We're just having a tactical oh, yeah. debrief. We're deciding whether to go for two big ones or one big Shall one. Shall I get you started with one little one for John and one big one for you? <laughs> <laughs> I think just that we will have two big ones, shall Thanks, we? Thanks, mate. Two big ones and the rest small, please. All right, four little ones. Can you hold your hand up there? Sorry, could you hold your hand? Rich, could you hold your hand up, what a grown-up's hand looks like? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I, honestly, no offence, John, it feels like I'm back in China. <laughs> He's not... I mean, you're not normal, though, Richard, are you? Well, Richard, <laughs> Richard, Richard, you're Richard's six foot. Oh, you stand next to him. You no, stand Richard's next to him. He's about the same size as me. He's about six foot. Yeah. You're about six yeah, foot about tall. Six, about the same. Roughly six foot tall. Yeah. It's bullshit, this. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, how many did you get? Oh, why didn't you ask Richard first? Mm. No. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Richard, how many did you get? No, but honestly, ask Sean. He's, uh, he's been on the show a long time. I've got a lot yeah, of respect for him. Richard, Richard, <laughs> Doctor, the <laughs> the way he think plays good for the him, game. Too. I like the way the guy plays the game. I like he's good for the show, I think. I think he's good for Captain. So, sorry, are you saying, would you like me to go to Sean first or, or you first? I would say, Sean, I don't know if you agree with this or disagree. <laughs> I, I really if you ask Richard first. I think it'd be a really good thing I, for him to you know, get a bit of a, a feel for the show oh, and confidence. Sure, and, well, Rich, I'm, if you're all right with that, I'll... Sean, I'm going to stop you there. I, th <laughs> I, I worry that people watching this at home might feel you guys are playing for time now. <laughs> Okay. Richard, have you brought a mascot with you? Well, Jimmy, I bought my spirit guide from when I was a child. I always had a spirit guide. He was a, a big orange monster with wild hair. And uh, I brought him along. Uh, his name is Donald. Oh! <laughs> there he is. Uh, and he's going to help me um, throughout the show. He's got a lot of big plans for the show. He's got ten letter words he wants to use. <laughs> to all sorts of plans for us. It's his plans for that thumb you want to worry about. <laughs> Are you an admirer, Rich, of Donald Trump? Yeah, I love the guy. What, what is it you like about him? Uh, I, 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 li I like... I like... <laughs> I don't know. Well, listen, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, I'll <laughs> but if he, if he can help me win Countdown, then, uh, then I'll, I'll be on his side. Oh. By the time this goes out, someone would have shot him anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> we won't get to do this. 